Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in the previous video, we discussed some of the basic concepts related to time response analysis and we also studied some important uh, signal functions which are used in the analysis of unknown systems. So in this video, we are going to start our discussion related to the time response analysis of systems of uh, various orders, mainly zero order system, first order system, second order system, up to that. And beyond that it is generally not considered uh, for analysis. G generally zero, first and second order systems are considered and are generally uh, in the syllabus for various examinations. So today's topic of discussion is a very simple one. It is the time response analysis of zero order systems. So we have already discussed the definition of order of a system okay we have already discussed the basic concepts related to order of a system i have posted separate videos related to type and order of a system so you please check out that video so again the order of a system is the highest power of s okay it is the highest power of s in the characteristic equation in any closed loop transfer function of a system represented by this okay the output and this is the input so the characteristic equation is 1 plus gs hs is equal to 0 which is this is the forward path gain this is the feedback path gain both in s domain this is the characteristic equation and the highest power of s in this characteristic equation gives us the order of the system the closed loop system so here we are going to discuss about zero order systems okay zero order system so the closed loop transfer function will take the closed loop transfer function is generally given by gs by 1 plus gs hs this denominator is the characteristic equation okay so let us take a zero order system. So zero order system is simply a block having a constant gain. Okay, we can take simply a block with a constant gain. This will be the input in S domain and this will be the output in S domain. So see, it is satisfying the definition of order. So this block, it can be written as K by S to the power zero, isn't it? It will be K by one. S to the power, anything to the power zero is one. So it will be K, isn't it? So here, the highest power of S in the denominator, which is the characteristic equation of the closed loop transfer function, it is zero. So this is a zero order system. This is the closed loop transfer function. Okay, this is the closed loop transfer function of the above system. Okay, this is the closed loop transfer function because there is no feedback path. So this is the closed loop transfer function which is given by this k by s to the power 0 this s to the power 0 is the characteristic equation and the highest power of s 
then this characteristic equation is zero. So that's why it is a zero order system. Okay. So now here the output will simply be the input multiplied with k. Okay, whatever is the input, it will simply be multiplied by the factor k. So if the input is unit step, okay, if it is unit step, the output will become ct is equal to k ut in time domain. If the input is a ramp function, it will simply become ct is equal to k rt if the input is a parabolic function it will simply become ct is equal to k pt okay if it is an impulse function this output will simply become ct is equal to k delta t okay so this is a characteristic of the zero order system okay the output will simply be the input multiplied with the factor k okay this is very important so for a zero order system the output is equal to gain of the system the gain the constant the constant value okay constant value or constant factor multiplied with the input okay so this is for a zero order system so it becomes very easy to for the analysis of a zero order system okay simply the output is k multiplied with the input so here we have discussed the zero order system which is very easy and simple to understand next we'll discuss about the uh, first order system and then the second order system for various inputs that will be a little bit uh, lengthy and bit complicated but we will deal with it okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much